The seasons are changing again now, and as we enter into colder days, I just can't help but think how this year is almost coming to an end soon, which feels crazy. Last winter, we were hiking into the tiny house, and then early spring started some pretty intense remodels because the plumbing had been leaking and was broken. How's your ditch coming along? It's discouraging. To be honest. <laughs> How many days have you been working on this? Too many. I think we're gonna have some water maybe today. You think so? And then time went on and we started entering into warmer days. Ugh, and this spring, you guys, I can't get over how vibrant this year was. I think it's because we had a pretty large amount of snow in the winter, which caused such explosive colors in the spring. It's weird looking back at the beauty that exists in this world. And I really can honestly say, I don't think I appreciated it enough in those moments. I feel like it's really easy to take things in our life and even people in our life for granted when we are around them all the time. And then we look back and we think, wow, I wish I had appreciated that more. And then all of a sudden, somehow, the summer just flew by. It almost feels like it just went in just one big blur. And now we're here in this present moment. I went up into the mountains and experienced my first snow this week, you guys. I think that is one of my favorite parts of being in really high altitude is when an early snow comes while the fall colors are still here. It's just such a magical moment to see all the orange and reds with white snow. I feel deep in my bones a readiness for this upcoming death cycle of winter. There's quite a bit of changes happening in my life pretty soon. We're going to be moving and also Logan asked me to marry him which is very exciting. So we're just feeling really excited about the future. And I don't know, I think I'm gonna be taking some time off. So this week I was at Goodwill and found this beautiful old curtain for $6 and decided it would be the perfect thing to use to sew my wedding dress. So I got this fabric at Goodwill the other day. Um, I think it was meant to be a curtain <laughs> because there's like this edge ruffle on the end of it, which is actually really pretty. I'm gonna use this as like the bottom hem of the dress. This is gonna be the top layer. And then I also bought this like white cotton linen fabric. Total cost of all the fabric was like $45. When I saw this at the store, I was kind of blown away because this pattern, I don't know if you can see this, is like, so pretty. I don't know. I'm excited to see what I can make with it. So my inspiration for this dress is kind of a vintage style, but also something that looks like a princess dress. <laughs> I feel like my inner child always wanted to wear this kind of like puffy sleeves Cinderella type dress. So that's what I'm going to make. I want the waist to be tight, but then everything else just kind of poofy. I will say I was a little nervous starting this project just because I'm honestly not a great seamstress and honestly wasn't totally sure I could actually make this thing.
So we're gonna have a really casual wedding, just me and Logan's immediate family and just a couple of friends, probably around like 15 people. So I feel like even if this dress isn't perfect, I'm kind of fine with that. So basically I'm doing two layers. The top layer is like made out of the lace curtain that I got. And then the bottom is just a basic linen cotton fabric. I was a little nervous about the lace part bunching and puckering when I sewed all the pieces together. I've never done like a two layer piece before and I feel like I'll definitely do some things different next time. I made a lot of mistakes and spent a couple of very long nights working on this thing. But there's also something kind of addicting about doing a difficult project. I get a little obsessive sometimes and it's kind of just like all I want to work on. I spent a lot of time these past weeks canning and preserving this fall's harvest. Also, of course, baking a lot of sourdough bread. And now in the garden, I'm just harvesting the last couple of things um, that we have left in there. I think there'll probably be a hard freeze at night this week. So I'm gonna pick all of my green tomatoes and then I'll just let them finish ripening in the house. Yeah, I've just kind of been frantically trying to get everything out of the garden because once that freeze happens, everything is kind of just done. Also, my raspberry harvest has been so abundant this year. Every other day almost, I come home with this like huge bowl of fresh raspberries. I found this old recipe in one of my cookbooks from the 1800s that is basically just like cooked down berries and then the crust is made from pecans and nut flour. <laughs> it was kind of a weird recipe, but me and Logan both agreed it was one of the best things we've ever tasted in our life. Okay, I know you guys are all rolling your eyes at me because I say that a lot, but it really was like so insane. I'll leave the recipe in the description of this video. Also, we had a birthday celebration and I made this fig cake with some local figs. In the cake, I added almost a cup of hot espresso, which made the flavor so rich. If you guys want to make a really complex flavored cake, I would highly recommend adding coffee to the batter. I really can't even describe the flavor. It didn't taste like coffee at all. I know that because my mom loved the cake and she absolutely hates the taste of coffee. So I think I'm gonna start adding coffee to everything from now on. It was just so, so good. There was a point in the last couple of years when I stopped trusting myself, I feel like. I think maybe it happened after I made some decisions that felt right in the moment, but ultimately were kind of a huge mistake. And then after that, I've just felt a little lost. Like since I don't trust my intuition anymore, I have a really hard time making decisions. I don't know if anyone else struggles with that, but the other day I was laying in the river and it dawned on me. What's even worse than making a mistake is just not doing anything at all. I don't even know what I've been so scared of, to be honest. I guess scared of failure, but I realized I would so much rather try something new and fail and make a mistake than just be paralyzed by my own fear.
<laughs> mm. Okay, so what do you think of these? Incredible. I'm gonna spoil my dinner. So are you. Oh my gosh. You ate that thing in two bites. Mm. You guys, it's been so cozy and just like, I don't know, something about the weather lately has been really doing something for me. The end of summer is the best time, like early autumn when the garden is just flourishing and you're picking your last little bits of stuff. I spent like the past two weeks just like canning so many things and making so many jams and oh it's just been so beautiful i feel like all year round there's some sort of struggle like in the winter time it's just really cold and kind of miserable and here it snows a lot in the winter and then the spring we always have like a late spring it feels like it doesn't start getting warm till like june and you're just kind of waiting and waiting for warmer days and then all of a sudden it's summer and it's just like sweltering hot you know but then you get this like perfect moment in fall when it cools down a little bit and the air becomes crisp and like everything is perfect. I don't know, this is the time of year when I feel like it's just amazing. Every I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I really did not believe in myself with this dress, but am so pleasantly surprised with how perfectly it turned out. I really do feel like a princess in it. Which, okay, yeah, it's a little lame that I'm going to be wearing a princess dress at my wedding, but honestly, I don't care. I am so happy with how I feel in this dress, and ultimately, I think that goes with everything in this life. I think we have to be unapologetically ourselves 100% of the time. That is when we are truly our most magnetic and vibrant versions of ourselves, is when we fully love and embrace who we are and all the weird quirks about us. So yeah, I'm wearing this Goodwill curtain princess dress at my wedding and honestly, I'm so excited about it. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching this video and I will see you all next week.